car broke down. I went off to the side. A couple cars go by me, kick up a dust cloud. The next guy goes into it and hits me going over 90 miles an hour. You know, he's an amputee, and he was able, as an amputee, to continue two careers, one in the military, one as a first responder as a firefighter. And that didn't stop him. And I, I was the first amputee to deploy to I, Iraq because I was there at the beginning of the war. So my intestines just started coming through. So I wiggled them back in and bandaged myself up and then um, went back to work for another month because I didn't want to leave my guys. It just slowly, slowly started messing me up because my spinal cord went from a small little cord to this big around for like that long in my lower back, my L4, 5, S1, 2, 3. Spent a year and eight months in the hospital and got medically boarded out after 33 years, so many months. So the San Diego VA was taking care of me and they, one of the sports therapists uh, asked me, they said, hey, we got a winter sports clinic. Would you like to go? And I said, I'm up for anything. Look like everybody's grandfather because I'm gray haired guy, but I'm still out there doing it, showing guys, hey, let's just do it. Dude, it is, I am looking forward to it, dude. <laughs> He's apparently fearless, uh, willing to do anything. There may be some things he'll, he'll encounter that he doesn't like or can't do, but he'll try his best to accomplish whatever it is. <laughs> so I was just going downhill fast, hit a jump, get some air. People always ask me, are you afraid of getting hurt? And then I'm looking at myself like, no, I'm in a chair, so I guess I'm not afraid of getting hurt anymore, so. You know, it's kind of weird. I love skiing and I love going off jumps. You know, it freaks out everybody. But I love curling. <laughs> that might be a little light. That's light. He exemplifies what it is to be out here and overcome your disabilities. He's, he's done that and he continues to do that. And he continues to inspire others to do that. And that's why he deserves this award. I mean, this is a stepping stone. This is a stepping stone to the wheelchair games, or the wheelchair games are a stepping stone to here. When we come to places, you know, like Snowmass, I look at it as the people that put this on are saving lives. They might not think it, but they're saving lives because they're giving people the opportunity to fulfill life in general. The volunteers here, DAV here, they're my hero because they support me. I might have went out and did my job, but they were still here praying for me, helping me out, and now they're even here helping me continue on with life. So they're, in reality, they're our heroes.